Hello and welcome to another lesson. This lesson's going to be short and sweet because we'll just be covering a handful of additional miscellaneous hotkeys. And the first of these, if you didn't already know, is the spacebar. So hitting the spacebar will play your music. However, hitting the spacebar will play your music as of the position of the playback line. That means the green line that we can see here. So if I hit the spacebar now, You can see that my music just starts playing in the middle of my score because the playback line is currently in the middle of my score. If I want my music to start somewhere else, I have to select something in the score and then hit P. And this will play back my music as of the place or object I have selected. If you want the music to start at the beginning of the score, just don't select anything and again, just use the hotkey P. However, there is another playback hotkey that you very likely don't know about, but it's a somewhat new feature in Sibelius, so if you have an older version, I'm afraid you might not have this feature available yet. And this is the feature loop mode. So what is loop mode? Well, under the play tab, under the play button, there is a list of several playback options, one of which is loop. And if we turn this on, you'll then enter loop mode, which will loop any passage that you select in the score when you play it back. And the hotkey for loop mode is Alt-P. So pressing Alt-P will toggle loop mode on and off so that we can switch between playing our score back normally and looping over a very specific passage in the score. Now the next hotkey is for enharmonic spelling and this is actually really, really useful. It will re-spell a note for you. For example, if I want to re-spell an A flat to a G sharp, this hotkey is simply enter or return, however it is that you want to call it. Hitting enter on your keyboard will just toggle the note back and forth between its enharmonic spellings. And you can do this for an entire passage of music if you want to. So we just select the passage, hit enter, and it'll just toggle it back and forwards. So it's definitely worth learning this hotkey because otherwise the process of respelling notes takes quite a few steps. And if you're changing a lot of notes, it can be easy to make mistakes if you're changing them manually. The next useful little hotkey is for the magic layout function freeze. We haven't talked about magic layout, but it's actually really quite simple to use. If magic layout is on, it stops the elements in the score from colliding with one another. And of course we can turn the magic layout function on and off by clicking on the magic layout button here. Now sometimes we might want magic layout turned on, but we might want a couple of objects or elements in the score to just ignore magic layout. Sometimes magic layout can get in the way. And for this we have the function freeze positions, which can be found directly underneath the magic layout button. Freeze positions will freeze the positions of elements that you have selected so that those elements are not affected by magic layout. And the hotkey for this is Control shift f Now this might not be useful for all projects, but sometimes you'll come across a project, particularly for let's say less usual types of music where magic layout can become a problem quite frequently. And it's in these cases that having a hotkey to freeze object positions is actually quite useful. So those are just a couple more handy little hotkeys. I hope that they're useful to you and I'll catch you in the next lesson.